Navigating Chicago in a wheelchair, it's proven to be a tough task if you ask the people doing it every day. And tonight, only on two, Adrina Vegas looks into what they're facing and what the city is doing to help. She is live at Washington and Wabash in the Loop. Adrina. Rob and Erica, Chicago has one of the oldest public transit systems in the country, so they have lots of catching up to do when it comes to accessibility. This is one of the accessible CTA stations here in the Loop. It's new. They also have installed 7,000 new accessible sidewalk ramps across the city, so progress is being made here, but we talked to people and spent time with people who use wheelchairs and saw how hard it is just to get around. So I live and work kind of downtown. It can be very intimidating. Like, there's like so many people walking around. Just a lot of hustle and bustle. Navigating Chicago is tough. Especially when you're in a wheelchair. Now where do I go? Oh. This is every day for Michelle Lee, who was paralyzed from the neck down when she was 20. I don't have a lot of finger function or anything to, to open the door, and there's no button. She can't get into some stores or narrow doorways or the train. I can't go in. There's no elevator. I was told I have to go to another station at Clark and Lake in order to go to anywhere on the blue line. And that's three blocks away. This is, it stresses me out. The city of Chicago has come a long way. About 100 of the city's 145 rail stations are now accessible. The goal, 100% accessibility over the next 20 years. You kind of need that stuff like right now. And while yes, a 20 year plan, it's, it's good, but that needs to be sped up. Justin Cooper has been using a wheelchair for 18 years. In this instance, there is no ramp at all. And getting around it is difficult on wheels. Where all of a sudden the city decides, hey, yeah, we're gonna tear this sidewalk up and okay, don't worry, forget it, screw you. Justin moved closer to downtown to get around easier, but he's a filmmaker, so he goes to lots of other neighborhoods. To improve more of the sidewalks, not just downtown or in the loop, but in other areas of the city where they really need it. That it's like a struggle every day just to get up out of bed anyways, and if it's an extra challenge just to go around outside to the doctor or to work, it's just, it makes it a little bit frustrating and overwhelming. And, and to be honest, depressing. So whether you live in or out of the city, we found a way that you can help. You can become a, what's called a local guide on Google. All you do is hit yes, that somebody's walking in our shot. Hello. That's what happens in the loop. All you can do is click yes, that this place is accessible, whether the restaurant or store, or click no, that it's not. If you do live in the city, you can report something to 311. The commissioner for the mayor's office of, poli of people with disabilities says that they will look into anything that comes in. Sorry, we had a little distraction yeah. here in the loop. Yeah. We're live. <laughs> Robin, Erica. Great report, Adrian. It's good to know what role we can all play. Thank you.